Welcome to another PowerShell tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to make RESTful API calls using InvokeRest method commandlet. The InvokeRest method commandlet is a powerful commandlet allows us to make HTTP requests to RESTful APIs without the hassle of manual HTTP crafting. Let's dive into the basic syntax and explore how we can use it for GET and POST requests. For this demonstration, I am using JSON Placeholder API. JSON Placeholder is a fake online REST API that serves as a valuable tool for testing and prototyping API interactions. JSON Placeholder offers a variety of endpoints, such as slash posts, slash comments, slash users, and more. These endpoints return mock data that closely resembles real-world data structures, making it easy to simulate interactions with a real API. The API supports standard HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT, and DELETE. You can learn more about this by visiting their official website. In the world of APIs, a GET request is like asking for information from a server. Let's say we want to retrieve data from a sample API. Here's how we do it using the InvokeRest method commandlet. In this example, we're sending a GET request to the JSON placeholder API to fetch information about a post with ID 1. The URI parameter specifies the URL of the API endpoint we want to access. The result of the InvokeRest method call is stored in the $Response variable. The response is automatically parsed into a PowerShell object, making it easy to work with. We then output the contents of the response using writehost commandlet. Let's run the script and see the results. Good! We successfully retrieved the data. We can see the user ID, ID, title and body in the response. Now, let's move on to post requests. Think of this as sending data to the server to create something new. We'll simulate creating a new post using the JSON placeholder API. In this example, we're sending a POST request to the API to create a new POST. We provide the data as a PowerShell hash table $NewPost, which is then converted to JSON format using the convert to JSON commandlet. The method parameter is set to POST to indicate that we want to create a new resource. The body parameter contains the data we want to send to the API in JSON format. The content type parameter specifies the format of the data we're sending. Let's run the script and see the results. It successfully posted the data and the response looks fine. Now, let's see how we can handle authentication in API calls. When you need to access an API that requires authentication, basic authentication is a common method. It involves sending your credentials, username and password, in the request header. Let's explore how to use basic authentication with the InvokeRest method commandlet. In this example, we're setting up basic authentication to access an API endpoint. We encode the username and password as base64 and include it in the authorization header of the request. This allows us to securely authenticate and access protected resources. $Username and $Password are placeholders for your actual credentials. Convert colon, to Base64 string encodes the credentials in Base64 format, which is commonly used for basic authentication. The authorization header is added to the $Header's hash table, which is then included in the request using the $Header's parameter of InvokeRest method. That's it. This is how we use basic authentication. What if something goes wrong with API calls? It is a best practice to use try-catch block to gracefully handle the errors. Wrap your code in a try block like this, and if an error occurs, it's caught in the catch block. You can decide whether you want to stop the script execution or continue executing remaining lines using error action parameter. With that, you've learned how to effortlessly retrieve data with GET requests, create new resources with POST requests, handle authentication, and gracefully manage errors. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing PowerShell content. 
If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy scripting with PowerShell.